Well, the Ottawa Art Gallery opening weekend is this weekend, and it's uh, been a long time coming. We've got a fun event to talk about to help out with the celebrations happening this weekend. Let's chat right now with Vedani Kual. Kual? Yeah. Uh, you don't Hi. say the D, right? Yeah, it's, there's a a D D. it's a silent D. It's a silent D, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Media <laughs> Relations doing? Manager, Ottawa Art Gallery, and uh, Trisha Enns is with us as well. Nice to see you. You're the yep. dance floor facilitator, co-founder, Morning Jam. That's true. Does yeah. that mean towards the end of this segment we're going to be jamming out together? Maybe, but I don't want to give right. anything away. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's a teaser, though. I want to make sure people stick around for that. Okay, Veronique, now this uh, has been a long time in, in the making. Uh, tell us how long it's been then since all the, the renovations and now we've got opening weekend. Yeah, so this year is our 30th anniversary, and uh, we've always known that we would eventually need more space, uh, the Ottawa Art Gallery. Um, and uh, about eight years ago, we started to concretely look for a space and look for funding to, to move. Mm -hmm. So three years ago, shovel in the ground, and now we're ready to inaugurate the new Ottawa Art Gallery, okay. purpose-built. New, but same location? Well, we're neighbor to our old no location, so we used to be in Arts Court, and now we're connected to it, but we have a, our own entrance and a new, uh, a new building, okay. five stories, six stories, actually, sorry. That's a lot. So what's changed then? Obviously, I mean a lot, obviously, but what has changed? Yeah, so we're five times the size. Um, we have more spaces for our collections and to grow as well. Uh, we have um, accessible entrances. Mm -hmm. um, we have an art studio for art classes and groups. Uh, we have a coat check, which is really exciting. That is exciting. <laughs> uh, and we have uh, uh, three floors of new galleries to permanently show our collections or uh, showcase uh, uh, temporary exhibitions. Okay, so the obvious question is what are we celebrating this weekend? Yeah, so we're celebrating the public opening of mm -hmm. the new OAG. So for Saturday and Sunday, the 28th and the 29th, uh, we basically planned activities in every nook of the new building. Mm -hmm. So in the studio, um, in the multi-purpose room, on the terrace, there's Tai Chi on the Sunday morning. Uh, there's even dance performances um, in the stairs. Um, we have a, a short film program for kids in our cinema space. Mm -hmm. um, and Morning Jam in the Jackson oh, yes. Cafe. So the dance party starting at noon on Saturday. Okay, hold on though, because it's called Morning Jam and it's starting yeah. at noon. Is that just the way you guys roll on, on weekends? <laughs> we normally start at 11, <laughs> yeah. sneak in the morning there. Yeah. But for this time, it's going to start at 12 instead. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what's Morning Jam all about then? Um, so myself and Jordan, who's the co-founder, we started it about four years ago. Um, and bare bones, it's a daytime slash morning mm -hmm. uh, dance party for all ages, all uh, genders, all race, everyone. Okay. Uh, everyone's included in the space. And it's about taking dance away from the bar scene, the pickup scene, the drinking and late nights, mm -hmm. whatnot. And I'm making it about an inclusive, fun environment for okay. people to to explore what yeah. dancing means to them. Okay, so outside of this event, when does the morning jam usually take place? Usually starts from 11, starts 11 and goes till 3. Okay. Um, and the location changes depending on the one. So the next one is taking place on Saturday yeah. at the Auto Art Gallery, yeah. but then after that, Sometimes it takes place in halls, sometimes it so takes different place locations. at different yeah, locations, all over different the place. days, or are they always on weekends? It's always on Saturday or Sunday, okay. yeah. All right, I'm yeah. excited to jam out here coming up in a moment. <laughs> but the morning jam is very accessible as well. That's, yeah. that's one thing that you mentioned that it's welcoming everybody in. Yeah, definitely. So, why is that so important? Um, because I think dancing is a bit of an intimidating thing for some people, mm -hmm. and also it's not just about dancing, but it's about creating a community space, about a space that people can relate to one another and get to know one another and mm -hmm. break down those barriers that sometimes exist. I love it. Just get your freak on. Get your freak on. There it is. That's okay. Right. Yes. <laughs> it. So outside of the event that's happening this weekend, tell us about some of the things that are coming up. Yeah, uh, so the show that we have, the inaugural show, will all become stories. It will take us to September, um, and that tells the story of 6,500 6, years of art making in Ottawa Gatineau. Mm -hmm. So it's 180 artists in the gallery. Um, and other than that, we just have activities planned like tours and um, art making. And I should mention that the gallery is always free, mm -hmm. and we're open 9 to 9 every day. So every we're trying day. to make it more accessible 
you know, in, in that sense. Um, and we also offer free childcare on Wednesday evenings. Oh wow! Uh, so we're really trying to make it easier for everyone to uh, to show up at the gallery. Okay. When you say free childcare, what what age is children? Because sometimes people bring <laughs> infants. Like, is oh. it right up to? Yeah, basically they have to be uh, trained. Okay, just make sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's just like the limit. On yeah, and I think it's until age ten. But <laughs> details on the website. <laughs> that's a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, Amazing. so for as far as this weekend is concerned, then when do, when does all the fun begin? Okay, thank you. Yeah, Saturday morning at eleven. It's the official opening ceremony with the mayor and the ribbon ceremony. And after that, it's their scheduled tours, or you can just show up and participate in some of the hands-on stuff, or show up for a specific screening. But basically. Um, 11 a.m. on Saturday, and after that, forever, we open at 9. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's wonderful. So yeah. lots of cool stuff coming up very soon. All right, so uh, for more information, though, on Morning Jam, where would people go to before we get into this? Because I'm going to be winded from this, right? So I need to get the questions out now. You will be, yeah. yeah. Um, on Facebook and Instagram, it's Morning Jam Forever. That's the handle. And then on our website, the website's www morningjam.live yep. um, and all of those are all linked all together so if you get to one you get to all of them. All right Veronique and Trisha are we going to morning jam out here or what? All right Let's yeah so we're going to do a little bit of uh, activity that yeah. we sometimes do on the dance floor. What are you, to... Is she leaving? <laughs> yeah you're, she's not part it's just you and me okay, now. Okay so this is more for shy people though right? To, to yes. Get them. Okay. So not everyone's super it. confident so we're going to do a mirror dance yeah. thing so we need some music and then it's coming. There it is. There it is. So then you do a dance. There we go. Look at so that. I'm going to do your dance. And now I'm going to introduce a move. Oh, yeah. And now you get to introduce a move. <laughs> That's a ridiculous right. move. Gee, I sure wish we had more time for this. <laughs> Gotta bring your leg out. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not even looking at what you're doing. Oh, it's going to be a big weekend. Now we're all jammed out. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And of course, we've got more daytime coming up in moments. Don't go anywhere, please. Thank you. <laughs>